Hey everybody, I have here in front of me an old GE Electrac lawn tractor, but it's a really beat up one. It's got the wrong little tiny wheels on front. It's all rusted. Not only does it not have batteries, but uh, it's missing a lot of parts, including the main drive motor. Uh, so I thought it'd be pretty cool to build some sort of rat rod. So what I have back here is a 10 inch diameter series wound forklift motor. Uh, this is the one I originally had in my Geo Metro uh, electric car conversion before rust, unfortunately, destroyed that car. But I pulled out and saved the electric components, including that nice big motor. And what I want to do is put the motor into this tractor to make a rat rod, because among all the other things missing on this tractor uh, was the electric motor. Now, normally, the electric motor would be mounted down underneath, about in the middle, and there's not enough room there for this electric motor. But looking up in the battery box here, it looks like that motor would almost exactly squeeze between the sides here. And in fact, what I probably could then do is actually just um, drill some holes through the side here to face mount the motor and have the drive shaft stick out. But if I did that, I still need a belt to get down over here somewhere to, I guess, like a pulley, a drive shaft, and another pulley to make it back to the uh, um, the input. It's an input pulley for the transmission here. Um, so the fact that those don't line up wouldn't be great because uh, that drive shaft would come out this this direction too far. It'd come out about three inches and that pulley is set back in from here oh, about two inches or so. Um, so that's not ideal, although I love how everything would be hidden behind the tire here. Um, so some sort of a jack shaft, something like that might be one way to do it. Uh, possibly I could also do a short belt to a jack shaft but have the jack shaft sort of inside the box here and then um, maybe about here, cut down through the box to line up to that pulley. Uh, so again, same thing, some sort of a jack shaft, but um, kind of keep it all inside the box. Um, the other thing that would be cool is to keep the weight of the motor near the back. Um, I can always add batteries up in front here. There's room for that. Uh, but if the motor's towards the back, I could probably pop a wheelie in the tractor, which would be really, really cool. Um, now here's the one other thing that I'm thinking about is on the back of this tractor, there's something called the stabber mount. And what that is, is accessories were actually designed to slide in right here and here uh, as ways to attach various attachments on the rear. Uh, also lower down, typically this, is, this would have a piece coming out with a hole for towing. Uh, so between those, that'd be some nice triangulation. And I think I could maybe mount the electric motor down low like that. And if I did it right, uh, it's not going to be an easy view here, but you can kind of kind of see the input pulley on the transmission. If I lined up the shaft, the electric motor would be off center. It would stick out kind of over here a bit, but it would clear the rear tire. And I think I could have a straight shot from the drive shaft of the electric motor to that input pulley right here. The only thing is that I'd have to go around uh, the axle, so I'd need to get one of those fancy um, adjustable length belts that I could hook and un unhook to get it in the first place. But I think that could possibly work quite well. Um, definitely a rat rod. I mean, you can see rust right through the back, but the transmission is good, wheels are good. Um, could be a cool project. Let me know what you think. Uh, rat rod overpowered electric lawn tractor.